What's up, everybody? The Iceman here on this Thursday, June 27th. And I read some news this morning, and I'll be honest with you, I don't like it when this kind of news comes out because it's not leading into the future. It's plugging holes and patching up to try to make a product better than what it has been. And the news is... WWE has announced that Paul Heyman is going to be executive director of Raw and Eric Bischoff, executive director of SmackDown. Those are my issues. Now, um, I've been reading so many reports that when Fox debuts SmackDown Live this coming fall, you know, a big part of that is going to be Brock Lesnar. Now, is this going to end the, you know, the brand split, so to speak, even though they have the wild card? I don't know. Uh, but with Heyman, executive director of Raw, what does this mean for the renegotiated huge contract for Brock Lesnar? Um, unfortunately, I foresee Lesnar becoming champion once again and probably once again for a long time, although they claim with this contract he has to make more appearances. More appearances as far as what? Just pay-per-views? Um, or, you know, being on Raw or SmackDown? Nobody really knows. I don't like the idea. Um... I think it's a short-term fix, and people are going to get tired of it very, very quickly. Now, going to Eric Bischoff. To me, he is a one-time wonder. Yes, he really raised the bar in WCW when he created the NWO. But the problem with that faction was they sort of solely took over Monday Nitro. This is the reason why you saw Chris Jericho leave, you saw Eddie Guerrero leave, you saw Chris Benoit leave, Perry Saturn, Dean Malenko. They all left because in Eric Bishop's eyes, Chris Jericho was a nobody and he wasn't going to be anybody with WCW and we all know what happened with Chris Jericho after he got involved with the WWE, we all know about Benoit, and we also know about Eddie Guerrero, some of the biggest stars the WWE ever had. And I think that Bischoff lives in the past. I don't dislike the man, but how many times is WWE going to bring him in and have go-rounds with him? He's been general manager at times, he's left, come back, he's been fired. I mean, to me... It's a ratings boost, but it's only going to be short term because I don't think Eric Bischoff is the answer to solve problems for either Raw or SmackDown for that matter. And honestly, Paul Heyman was very creative back in the ECW days. Uh, he has been the manager of some great superstars, CM Punk, Brock Lesnar, uh, he even took over Curtis Axel for a short time. I mean, but that obviously didn't go nowhere. And I think Heyman, too, just needs to be stick to Brock. Um, because if he has a lot of control over what goes on in Monday Night Raw, I think it can be worse than what it is. Now, with all that being said, let, let's give them both a chance. Let's give them both a chance. Let's see what they do with the superstars they have on their show. And let's see if they can create bigger stars. Because that's definitely what the WWE needs. Although they have so many stars that we don't even see half the time. And maybe this will change. I don't know. But at first thought when I read this, I think it's a big mistake. I think honestly think it's a short time fix because wrestling fans are going to see, oh, Bischoff, Heyman, you know, they're going to run both those shows 
and they're going to really give them more credit than probably what they really are going to be deserved. So we'll have to wait and see. This is the Iceman here on the 27th of June, Thursday. Peace out, everybody. We'll see you all next time.